Good evening, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle, and we're gonna do your February blockage reading. Please like, subscribe, and share the channel so that we're able to reach a broader audience. I'm so very grateful for all of my subscribers and the likes and the shares and what this channel has done this last year is just amazing. And I can't wait to see where it goes next year, like this coming year, like the one we're in right now. <laughs> I have an ice obsession, I'm sorry. Um, next up is Aries. And so we're gonna pull a light and shadow card for the blockage that is that Aries is dealing with most right now. Then we'll pull your oracle cards, then we'll clarify the blockage card and get some advice from the universe from another card or another tarot deck. And then we'll read your oracle cards. I just, I'm finding that if I pull all the oracle cards at the very beginning of the read, we can streamline the end and it actually takes a lot less time. Aries, remember that this is a general read. Flip it, floss it, flip it, flop it, toss it, turn it, take it any way you want it. But if this does not resonate, leave it and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, Aries, you guys are throwing them cards fast. You guys got a clockwork pumpkin. A wonderful idea an aha moment so I think I think we're gonna wait for the clarification on that one because I don't want to get it wrong because that to me doesn't sound blockage that to me sounds like opportunity so maybe your guys' problem isn't so much a blockage other than there's too many opportunities coming at you at once in order for you to be able to focus and really decide what area and what way you want to go. One card for Aries, please. Can I get one card for Aries, please? One card for Aries, please. You guys are being stubborn. You were fine with telling me what's going on. But now you guys have clammed up. That's very strange. One card for Aries. Okay, you got two. Here, take that. Star seed. These cards have had weird energy. They've almost been like acting up. I don't know. Maybe they need to be saged. <laughs> One star seed for Aries, please. Can I get? Thank you. And I've added the Animal Spirit deck. Leave in the comments if you like the addition or if you'd rather me remove it. Um, I really like it, but it does add a, you know, a hot second to it, so. Okay, I just got, I just heard, it's been a, it's been a long minute since I've been able to actually act on one of my ideas. So maybe that's the problem, is you've got all these ideas and all these things that you want to do, and you're just not capable of it. For whatever reason, whether it be the state of the world, or finances, or the person you're with, whatever the reason is, you can't seem to get, you can't propel anything. One animal spirit card for Aries, or yeah, Aries, please. That's too many. One card for Aries, please, thank you. Hmm, you got Pelican. I believe it was Sagittarius who also got Pelican. If you've got Sagittarian placement or you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you might want to think about that one. All right, clarify a clockwork pumpkin, a wonderful idea, the aha moment for Aries, please. Clarify the clockwork pumpkin for Aries, please. 
Can I get one more card for Aries, please? One, no, that's too many. One more card for Aries, please. One more card for Aries. Declare, thank you. We'll take that one. Too many came out. All right, you got, oh, all the swords. You're all up in your head. Holy fuck. This isn't Aries. Aries, you guys don't, you're a fire sign, guys. This is the whole problem. The whole problem is, is you're so up inside your head that you can't make fucking sense from dollars for anything. You got the five of swords. So you're regretting past decisions and you're living in that like regretful feeling. You got the two of swords, which tells me that you're over analyzing absolutely everything and you feel like people are lying to you and there's all kinds of deception around you and the ten of swords. And the Ten of Swords is all about like releasing those thought patterns. So I feel like you're trying to release these things and it's just opening up old wounds that you're just diving deeper into these rabbit holes for. You guys need to get out of your head so much. You're passionate people. That's what fire signs are. Fire signs don't live in their head. We're not happy there. more shuffles and we'll get advice from the universe advice for Aries please can I get advice for Aries please advice for Aries please thank you don't make any decisions right now please not any big ones like what to eat for dinner? Cool. Whether or not to leave your spouse? No. Now is not the time. You guys are overthinking everything. All right. The advice from the universe is the Eight of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Cups, the Emperor in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. You need to start living in your here and now instead of in the past. The reason that your Emperor is upside down is because you're not nurturing and you're not feeding to the situation you're actually feeling in a sense of lack and you're not able to rise above that the ten of cups tells me that you have an opportunity for sheer happiness but the, the eight of wands in reverse tells me you're not even moving towards that and the reason you can't move towards that is this five of swords and two of swords energy that you find yourself living in right now and you I feel like you're those two cards are blocking your capability of the Ten of Swords, which is releasing that shit. So the advice from the universe right now that I'm getting is to be very present. It is to allow yourself to take the time you need to sort through these things that's inside your head because clearly that is the only way that you're going to be able to release them and move forward from them because right now you are stuck stuck and you can't achieve the ten of cups when you feel stuck so unstick yourself that's the advice pull those skeletons out of the closet go through all that bullshit and then really move towards your happiness all right guys let's see what the oracles have to say the universe has your back when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Your energy, you got two. Magic and the mirror. So remember who you are. Remember that you can manifest and you can make any life you want to. You just have to really encompass that and want it and focus on it. Instead of focusing on the past, focus on the future that you desire. And you got indecision. The star seed card you got is reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. That's shadow work, guys. And you got pelican. Symbolism behind that is wisdom, focus, self-sacrifice, and nurture. There you go. All right, Aries, this was a great read. I know that it doesn't sound great, but it's a really great read. It's great advice, right? None of us should allow ourselves to be stuck in the past or stuck in this feeling of lack. And I think this is the universe just kind of giving you that kick in the ass. You need to say it's time to 
it's time to really sort that shit out so you don't have to keep going back there. All right, guys, I hope this finds you with love and light. And until we meet again, blessed be. Good night.